Thank you for joining me today as I explain how stress can cause the worst cumulative negative effects that often progress to Cushing syndrome. Today's horses, especially those used for performance and showing, are exposed to many sources of low-grade long-term stress, including stall confinement, training, showing, trailering, daily dewormers, and high sugar or carbohydrate feeds. Less frequent but just as serious stressors like injury, sedation for dental work, castrations and surgery, environmental and dietary changes, show medications such as ACTH and Regimate, and vaccinations can also negatively affect your horse's health. Most people don't understand that vaccinating their horses is very stressful to the body. Most vaccines contain adjuvants to activate the immune system and this hyperstimulation is highly inflammatory. Many are made from killed viruses that contain thimerosal, a chemical compound made from mercury that is used as a preservative. Mercury causes stress to the immune system because it has to work overtime in an effort to try to remove this heavy metal from the body. For performance horses, owners or trainers often turn to medications such as ACTH, dexamethasone, and Regimate to produce calming effects or alleviate moodiness. These synthetic drugs alter the hormonal balance and can lead to further consequences for the endocrine system. ACTH, for example, produces calming effects by temporarily increasing cortisol production. Since the major cause of Cushing syndrome is runaway cortisol, it's easy to imagine the negative effects related to the long-term use of these drugs. Daily dewormers are another source of chemical, chemicals horses are forced to ingest. They produce chronic, low-grade inflammation. Even though feed in, fed in small doses, these chemicals given on a daily basis can substantially contribute to a horse's stress load. As the severity of the stress builds, a horse's susceptibility to endocrine dysfunction and Cushing syndrome increases dramatically. I hope this helps you understand how stress contributes to the progression of Cushing syndrome in horses. I encourage you to watch my other videos about this common health issue. I am Dr. Mark DePaolo, and this video has been brought to you by DePaolo Equine Concepts.